I'm Guido and I want to show you guys today how to buy VeChain on Binance. First of all, if you don't have a Binance account, feel free to use my link down in the description. And with that link, you actually save 10% of the trading fees. So as you may know, Binance is the world's biggest crypto exchange. And But what's different with Binance is that you can actually trade um, cryptocurrencies against USD or against Euro or any other fiat currency. So what you can actually do on Binance is you can trade cryptocurrencies against other cryptocurrencies. And if you want to buy VeChain, I want to show you guys how it actually works. So first of all, you need an account. And if you have an account, you can see the dashboard um, here. As I said, if you don't have an account, feel free to use the link and save 10% of the trading fees. And because Binance don't has a fiat gateway, so you can't use like Euro or USD on Binance, you can um, or you don't actually need to verify your identity. So there's no verification on Binance. And if you want to trade or withdraw below two BTC per day. So if you want to withdraw more than two BTC per day, you actually need to verify your identity. And you need to do the KYC process, the know your customer process. But if you want, if you are okay with withdrawing less than two BTC per day, there's no need to do um, anything else be, um, except for signing up with your email address and a password. So that's basically it. Um, once you have an account, you can actually um, start trading on Binance immediately because, as I said, you don't need to do a verification process. And the first thing we want to do in order to trade on Binance is we want to deposit money on the exchange. So in order to do that, we actually go to wallet and then um, we go to exchange wallet here. And as you can see here, you have all the different cryptocurrencies that are traded on Binance and you can actually deposit or withdraw um, all of them. So let's assume we want to buy VeChain um, against BTC. So we have BTC and want to buy VeChain. The first thing we have to do is we have to deposit VeChain. Uh, we have to deposit Bitcoin, sorry. Um, the, in order to do that, we click on deposit. And the next thing um, you see is basically that where you can choose the coin. It's BTC. And the next thing you have to do is you need to copy this BTC address and then you can send your Bitcoins to that address. You can also click here in order to copy it. But um, if you add it somewhere, um, for example, on Coinbase or somewhere where you want to send the BTC form to Binance, uh, make sure and you check at least the first few numbers and the last few numbers or letters um, if they're correct, just to make sure you copy the address out. Um, correct. Um, so as I said, this address um, is a BTC address where we can send our BTC to. And in order to do that, you can, for example, open a Coinbase account. I also have a link down below where you can save 10% um, of the, oh no, you get actually 10 USD in Bitcoin for free if you deposit 100 USD on Coinbase and buy Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency with that. Or you could also use Binance Jersey. I also have a link and down below where you can save some of the fees. So we need another exchange to buy Bitcoin from, and then we can send it to Binance. Once we have done that, we can actually start trading. And there's one more thing I want to discuss, and it's that here you have something where it says fiat. So you can buy, for example, Bitcoin on Binance as well. But you have to know that it actually costs, if you like, add up all the fees and the spread between buying and selling price, it usually ends up around 4%. So if you um, want to buy Bitcoin for 100 USD, you are actually getting Bitcoin worth 96 USD at that point, because you pay close to 4% on fees. So on other exchanges like Coinbase, where you can use Coinbase Pro, it's um, only half a percent or so. So it's actually pretty cheap to buy it somewhere else, um, depending on the amount you want to buy. Okay, once we have our um, 
Bitcoin or we could also via Ethereum or any other cryptocurrencies to um, Binance, we can actually start trading. And in order to do that, we need to go to exchange and then we will use a basic one. I'll move that screen to the side. And here we already have, here you can pick the market. So for example, if we want to buy VeChain against BTC, we click here on BTC and then we are looking for BET because that's a um, short version or the short form of VeChain. And then we can actually see it switched here to BET against BTC. And then you have a chart here, you can change the candles. Now you have a daily candle, so every candle here is one day. And here you have um, the order book. So you have here are all the sell orders, that's the current price in BTC, and that are all the buy orders. And if we want to buy it, we have to go here to exchange. Here you can see the trade history. And at exchange here, we have um, different order types that we can use. We could use a limit order or a market order. And the difference is that the market order will be executed immediately. So if we want to say we want to buy a B chain against BTC and we want to use all our BTC, we could just click here on 100% that it will use all our BTC that we have in our Binance account in order to buy B chain. Or we can use half of it. Or we can also type in an amount of VeChain manually. Then all you have to do is um, click buy here and then the order will get executed immediately. For more advanced users, you could also use a limit order. And a limit order basically means that you can set a price yourself. So let's assume you say, okay, I want to buy VeChain if the price drops to um, 80 Satoshis. And then you just switch it here and then it will go um, into the order book here. Yeah, and now you have an open order that will only get executed when the price drops to 80 Satoshis. And then um, once it does get executed and you will have VeChain in your wallet. Of course, you can also cancel the order every time as long as it's not executed. Um, here we also have like stop limit orders and that basically means um, you could set a stop order and so if the price drops to a certain point you can also automatically sell your VeChain for example. Um, so once we have bought a VeChain we can actually see it in our wallet. We have to click on Margin Wallet again, then we can search BET and then you can see our total balance. You can see the VeChain we have in our account. Um, so let's come back to the exchange. And of course we could also buy it against Tether for example or uh, any other altcoin um, that is traded on Binance and that has a pair and VeChain against the altcoin. So for example against Ethereum. Um, next thing we want to look at is how we can sell the chain. So it's basic, it's actually pretty easy. You just have to go to exchange again, market, and then you click um, sell VET here. You can say, okay, I want to sell all of them, 1,461. Then you just click sell and the order will get executed immediately. You could also do a limit order saying, okay, I only want to sell it if it goes to 99, for example. 100% and then you can say sell and then it will go into the order book as well. So that's basically it. In terms of fees, and the fees are actually pretty low on Binance. So the fees are 0.1%. It's take or make a fee. It will go up, a, it will go down a bit if you trade more than 50 BTC per month. But until like up to 50 BTC at 0.1%, so it's very low. And it gets actually 
cheaper if you um, use BNB. So if you have some BNB in your account and you can pay the trading fees in BNB, it will do it automatically. So you don't have to do anything. And then you only pay 0.075%. And if you use my link, um, you save another 10% of it. So it actually um, gets very cheap trade to trade on Binance. And what's also free are all the deposits. So if you want to deposit um, a cryptocurrency like BTC, it's free. And you have a withdrawal fee on Binance, but that's usually just to cover the network fee, so, so the transaction fee, that you would also pay if you would send Bitcoin from one address to another. So um, to withdraw something from Binance is also pretty cheap. You're just basically paying the network fee. If you have any question about it, feel free to use the comments down below. And as I said, and if you don't have an account, feel free to use my link to save another 10%. And thanks for watching.